In this video, we're going to talk about using the 837 file splitter as well as our 837 claim extractor from our EDI utility toolbox. Uh, here is the toolbox and here are the two tools. Uh, very close cousin tools. They're um, very similar in concept, different in practice. Let's talk about them for a sec before I show it. Uh, first of all, in, in both cases, we're going to take an 837 file and we're going to split it into some number of smaller 837 files. And uh, all of our tools in the toolbox follow the same three rules. We never change your original file. It's always kept quite safe. Therefore, we're going to create a copy of it in a new file and make the changes in the new file. And because of that, you can set a new location or a separate location for these new files so you can always keep them separated. Uh, the concept of the splitter is we've got a file. Let's say there's uh, one file with seven claims totaling $10,000. And we split it somehow or another in uh, to three files. The result will be the same seven claims are accounted for. So the sum of the parts are always going to equal the whole. So we still have seven claims totaling $10,000. They're just spread over three different files. The extractor is a little bit different. The extractor is only interested about getting certain claims out of the file and ignoring the rest. So in this case, the three green files are the only ones we care about. So we don't create a number of files. We just create one file that has the, the three claims we care about uh, totaling 2500 so that's the basic difference. Methods for splitting. Uh, the splitter will let you split by batch, and that's basically when there's multiple STSE segments um, in, in, a, in a file. It will allow you to place those into uh, some number of uh, smaller files based on the number of claims per batch or how many files um, you want as an end result. Uh, the second method of splitting is by provider, and that's by billing provider. So each billing provider can then get its own file. The extractor only has one method for extracting, but it's the most powerful uh, possible. It's a rules-based system. So you basically set your own rules. So if you understand the loops and the segments and, uh, and the uh, elements, and you're pretty good with the EDI specifications, then you know how to write rules. Um, if you don't, fear not. Our tools are all end user friendly, including the tech support and training that comes with it. And if you ever need help, um, that's what we're here for. So we write rules for our clients all the time. So uh, fear not. So right, let's take a quick look at them. All right, here's our EDI utility toolbox. And here we're going to demo the two products the 837 file splitter will do first, and the 837 claims extractor we'll do after that. First, let's pop up, uh, this is Windows Explorer here. I have a, a folder full of files. And one of them here is called Sample Professional P. That's, that's the file we're going to actually split and extract from. I also have a folder here with nothing in it called Extracted. That's where I'm going to put my result. So hang on to that thought. But before I start, I also want to show you the before and the after effects of what we do. This is a separate product, but I'm looking at that same um, 837 file using our EDI reader. So I've called it up, um, puts all the uh, claims in our record layout in our grid here, much like you would see in Excel. But let's take a look up here in the high, uh, file summary. We've got 1,007 claims in this file. So this is the file, it's pretty good size, that we are going to split. And let's start with the splitter. So let's grab our 837 file splitter, we click our button, and before it does anything, it wants to know what it's looking at. So the first, and not very sexy interface here, the first thing it wants to know is what file am I looking at? So I'm going to point it at that file. Then we get our interface. This is our, our batch split option. So we have, or I'm sorry, this is our, our split options where it's batch or provider claims. So let's suppose I just want to make um, smaller batches. This is There's too many claims. I just want to make it smaller. When I select this option here, it's telling me what I've got. I've got 35 different batches. So how can I split those batches up? Um, what we can do is we can say, I can, you know, it gives you a little bit of a default position here, but you can say, um, I want to put that in four files or two files. I just want small, you know, cut it in half. And it will tell you how many batches it's going to put in there based on the analysis of the file. So I'm going to break this into, let's do three, and we'll take the default we had. And you can, you can just you know, type it in as well. And where are we going to put the result? Well, we're going to put the result in this extracted folder that I have created. And when I'm ready, I click OK. And I get this window here. This is a little audit window. Here's the original file and what was the total of charges. And then what it did create, it created three files, took the original file name and appended a unique uh, counter on the end of it 
And just to show you, it does add up the sum of the parts to equal the whole. And you can hit the print button if you want an audit trail of that, or just select OK. Now what I have over here in my Windows Explorer extracted folder, those are the three files that were just created. And what we can do is here we'll leave our original file uh, in our reader that's still sitting there. And let's actually call up another session of the reader here. And what we'll do here is side by side, we'll open up one of the split files. And it doesn't matter which one we grab, let's just grab that one right there. And out of 1,007, we, we managed to put 69 of them in this particular file here. Again, okay, we, put, we put batches. The number of claims is going to vary depending on how many claims were actually in the batches. So let's delete that right there. We don't need those any longer. We're going to move on to our second split. All right, let's go back to our file splitter. We'll select the same file. And this time we're going to choose provider slash claims. And this again is going to split it by billing provider. The only option you have is billing provider. But you do have the option of putting the provider name and ID right into the file. And again, we're going to pick the location we want to put the newly extracted, or sorry, split files into, a folder called extracted. And it takes a little bit longer to go through this particular one here. And here's our original file. Here are all the billing providers in the file. Sometimes it's the same billing provider multiple times, and that's just the way this particular uh, file was batched by the creator. But here is you know, 193,000 in charges. Here are the individual files that were created. Once again, you get your audit list that does total up. And let's go to Windows Explorer here, go to our extracted folder, and there are each of those files. The provider ID is put into the name, as well as the provider ID, which is most, most cases going to be the NPI. Uh, let's go back to our reader. Here's again our original file. And let's call up one of these newly split files here. Doesn't matter which one we pick. And one thing we will see though, all of the people uh, claims in the file are for the same uh, billing provider. And once again, we don't need any of these files for our demo. So let me get rid of them and then we'll start stretch uh, from fresh and we're going to use our extractor. Now the 837 claims extractor again is rules based. We're going to choose that same file. And before I actually show you the rules here, uh, let's actually take a look at that original file. And let's suppose we want to select what, what are we going to extract? I mean, you can do things based on data service or charge values or anything inside of that file, one of which is the subscriber ID. And we've got a bunch of different subscriber IDs. Some of them are different lengths even with different numbering sequences. So I'm going to sort this. Let's sort this by subscriber ID and just kind of scroll through here. And I'll see there are some that start with letters. There's a bunch that start with Ks. And there's a bunch that start with Z's. Let's suppose, for example, we want the K's and the Z's extracted. Those belong to a certain system uh, that we, maybe a legacy system we're trying to uh, populate. So we're going to extract just the K's and the Z's for use in another system. So I'm going to start a new, this, you can have as many rules as you'd like. I have, you know, several already written. Once you've written the rule, you just run it. But I'm going to start up with a new rule and we'll call it K, KZ for K's and Z's, except let's make it caps because I'm going to be real anal about it. So I got a rule called KZ. I'm going to edit the rule. Whenever you start a new rule, you create it first and then you edit it. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a little logic here. We're going to say based on the segment, the element, etc., we're going to make some comparisons. So let's suppose I want to look at the subscri build subscriber ID. That is the NM1 segment with an IL qualifier. And I'm going to be looking at the number, which is NM109. All right, so that's I'm telling it where to look. And I'm going to make a comparison. It's a string field. And I'm with string, I have these options. So in this case, I want to find anything that begins with. But you see there's other, quite a few other choices there. 
So I'm going to find all the claims that begin with, and I'll give it a value. So I want to say it begins with a K, and it's looking for this NM1 segment specifically in the subscriber loop. I'm going to add that. So that's a single criteria. I could be done here, and it will extract only my K claims, but I can also go a little further and say it's not just the Ks I want, it's also the Z. So we have a built-in OR clause. Not an AND clause, but it's an OR clause. So I'm going to look for my NM1 uh, segments with the IL qualifier in the 09 element. And I'm also going to make a string comparison that begins with, and this time it's going to be Z. And again, it's going to be in the subscriber loop. I'm going to add that. And I could keep going. Remember, these are OR clauses, so it's either a Z or a K. Um, of course, it can't be both in this particular scenario here, but there are other elements that, where there can be. So just remember that. Now the file ID, I'm going to create a brand new file, and this file ID lets me put some preform text in there, and I can do something like this, and that will put that into the file name to help me identify it. And that file will be placed wherever I tell it, I think it's going to be in this extracted folder. So I've got my conditions, I've got my file ID and the location, and I'm good. I'm going to save that. Now I only have to write this once. Once it's written, I can point it at a file, which I have. And I'm going to select my rule, which I have, and I'm going to click OK. And it found 99 claims that match my criteria, and it put them where I told it to put it. So it doesn't give me the same audit trail there. It just tells me what it did. So let me go over here to my Windows Explorer and extract it. There's the file that I just created. And here's our, uh, again, our original file on before we extracted. And let me call up another, my other session here. And this time we're going to get some of this stuff out of the way here. We're going to open up that extracted file. And we're going to take a look at it. And there's the 99 claims. And if you look in the subscriber ID, they only start with either Ks or Zs. So I went and extracted all the claims per my criteria, which were the K and the Z, and brought them into their own file. And of course, that could work with any element, uh, loop segment element, inside of um, your 837 files. If you have any questions, feel free to holler. Information is there. Thanks for watching.